What up guys, it's me Mourinho, back with another Homegrown Heroes episode. Just to remind you, our challenge is to take Arsenal and turn them into a fully homegrown side. You can see we've already made quite a few changes into this team. Looking forward to uh, fixing this left side of defence currently. Uh, we've got about a week and five days before the transfer window's up. So let's try and get some of these players out, out, out of this club. Uh, it would be nice to get Tierney out. But... So we've got a game today with Crystal Palace. Uh, so far, all of our players are fit apart from Enketia, but he's uh, the only other option is to put Martelli on. And as you can see, he's playing absolutely trash recently. So we'll go with Enketia to start with and see how we get on. So let's see how Ever Easy gets on against his old team. Don't think they replace him yet. So uh, they're currently using Mike, Michael Elise in his in his leave of absence, permanent leave of absence. Yeah, our side's getting more and more settled because we can't <laughs> can't change it because we've got no homegrown heroes apart from these guys. We're not going to be the most sit back and play team. We're just going to be going all out, guns out, full blazing team. Nelson's on the ball. It's about to be easy and good save by Johnston. Loftus cheek on the ball. Pass out to Max Aaron's. He whips it over and, and Katia doesn't get it. get quite the contact on you want. Holding gets the ball to Loftus cheek, plays it around to Saka, plays it into Nketi, and that should be in the back of the net, but Nketi's offside as usual. Absolutely all the chances coming our way here. Saka gets the ball, plays it across to Nelson. How have we not got any of that in the back of the net? Creating chance after chance. We've had nine shots on goal, only one on target, but... Get the ball outside and wide to Aaron's. Plays it back into Eze. Gets to Aaron's. Plays it in to Smithrow. Smithrow still got it. Why are you playing all the way back there, mate? <laughs> Goals it away. Play across to Saka. To Tierney. To Loftus Cheek. To Saka. Playing some delightful football. Still got the ball back from Loftus Cheek. Oh, free kick. Yellow card for Takore. As he gets the ball. Let's go have a look. That's deflected. I genuinely thought he just smashed that over the bar. Balls in. And Ketia. And nothing comes of that. So we win the ball back. Reese Nelson managed to keep the ball dribbling. Outside of the foot to Tierney. Rob Holdings on the ball to Ramsdale. If you want to play it anywhere apart from just around the defence, that would be great. Move the ball forward, Ben White. Reese Nelson and Aaron's making a nice combo on the right hand side here. Plays it back and plays it in. Saka with the header. Gets it across. Oh, if we missed that, what a glorious chance. As with the ball in. Another chance goes begging. So that's 14 shots. So first we'll just. Uh, in Katia, off you go, mate. Martin is coming up. The rest will have to stay on because they are. The rest will have to stay on because they are not homegrown. My subs. So we're going to get some players out and just um, at the minute just bulk up these subs a bit really because we've got barely any uh, replacements. And obviously it's Arsenal have got European football. Uh, we don't really have the squad right now to be contending with that. So even if it's just some uh, younger players, how does he miss that? <laughs> even if it's just some younger players to bring into uh, better experience like Cameron Archer or or some younger players like that, that's fine by me. Edward's got the boys one on one. He should absolutely send this in, and he does. Yeah, makes no mistake. I mean. Counter attack was always going to be a danger for us to get caught out on. They've gone to five at the back now. I have to say, Loftus Cheek just spraying the ball around. Playing quite nicely. Plays it Smith Rowe. What a save. 
not seen much of Martinelli so far. Well, I'll have to watch that again on the replay because that has just bounced in from what I see. It's either a very good volley or it's just ricocheted off him. It just smashed it off his head. 50p head, as he <laughs> literally just lucky rebound and we're drawing. We've had 23 shots and only one of them's got in. This is very bad. Have to say that is pretty shocking. Yeah, no, it's not going to be a, lot, a Rob Alden long range winner, is it? It's not. That's never going to happen, I think. And this could be the end of the match. It, very fortunate to draw this, really, but our finishing has been shocking. Martinelli's got the ball. And of course, Reese Nelson's going to play it in. We've got to win it. Martinelli with the very last second. I was surprised as I thought that was genuinely offside. It does look very offside ish. Got to say, that looked extremely offside. Take it, anyway. We've stolen them in from Crystal Palace. I have to say, even though we had 25 shots, uh, genuinely the better side, but our finishing does not deserve to win that match. Back from the dead performance. We did have 26 shots. I mean, just because they are much better finishing than we are. We've got maximum points so far in our first matches. Um, Liverpool, look at them holding out for the... The win after Fabinho got sent off 35 minutes in. And a goal down. United are just... Still currently with Ronaldo. Obviously that hasn't changed. Newcastle made an offer for Tierney. Uh, yes. I'll accept the offer. Even though he doesn't really want to go there. Made... Bah, that is... Sorry about that is... <laughs> No. No, 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 no. No. You want 27? No, that is a joke. You can have these people. And that's it. No offers for Vieira. Yeah, I could push it down to that. We are selling people really because cheap. I understand that you might get mad at me for that. Um... And only that's really fine. I mean, he's on 50k a week. He can go to Porto, that's fine. If you want to. We'll make an offer for Odegaard. 16 mil. That is very sad as I bought it for 30 mil. He, two years ago, and he's <laughs> incredible. No. 16 mil is not okay. What about if we do? 25. Other the ones are gonna. Mohamed El Nenny. Another one's are gonna. Mohamed El Nenny. Off you go, mate. 4.6 mil on the budget. No point in comment needed. See you later. They would like us to pay all of Harry Maguire's wages. Mm. They've not put a deadline here yet, so we're okay. Oh, what's the draw? My first ever UA for official draw. Let's start this draw, see who we get. Okay, advance. We're in pot one. Okay, this is a good pot to be in, obviously. Wouldn't really like to face since um, Real Sociedad here or Monaco. Or final, really. Uh, pot three, looking really forward to staying away from FC Michelin and Union Berlin because they always have loads of money in football manager. <laughs> Fair enough to stay away from you, please. Um, the rest of you are quite alright I'll be happy with. So Roma in group A. We're in group B. 
Rangers in Group C. Okay. Dynamo McKeon in Group E. Group F Lazio. Group G Man United. Group H Dynamo. Real Madrid going to be against Monaco. It's good we wanted to avoid them. That's two, two teams. That quite a strong. Arsenal going to have Feyenoord. Mm, wasn't really looking forward to playing them, but Group C, easy group for Rangers so far. Also for for Sparta for uh, Braga. Strong Group E. And a very good group F, that's good for us. United got a half decent group with Copenhagen. And Ghent making up that other group. Rome have got Midtjylland. This is a very tough group to get out of group A. And we stuck with Kluge. Okay, not bad. Who do they even have in their team? Okay, I have to say, not many people I recognize a couple of Brazilians in here so but as far as I know no caps so that's a good thing I'm in the draw hey yeah thank you okay not bad part is our guard Freiburg in there, Lugaretz and Malmo make up the group. Finishing off Group A is <laughs> wow, that is a strong group. Let's go Poznan. In our group, finished off is Fener. Wow, we this is a tough group to get out of. Uh, Fener actually not an easy side, and remember, we can have a lot of fixture congestion and a lot of tired players. So not a bad group this group. And honestly, have to say. Not, not, an, not a difficult group, but they're all quite mi mixed ability, so they're quite tight. Vienna, okay. Lazio got. Ooh. Man United's group. That is a tough group. They've not got any group there at all. Might as well make the group. So there you have it. This is our Europa League group stage. We do well if we get out of that. Being honest. I can't move on till I let go